Hello, this is the Indigo Experiment. It's tomorrow. I... well... Last time... We... Got the fire shield earrings while I was flipping out the entire time. This time... well, and I... I'll be the first one to tell you I have the time of my life. This time... Oh, I'll get the bridges back. I'm just checking. This time... We are going... To put the fire shield earrings we got from... Well... You know, what I just told you. To good use. So let's go on up. Is all I'm trying to say. Whoa. Also, those b blessed butterflies over there. Even though there are three blessed butterflies out there in a suspicious area, I have not been able to get anything to show up. I, ju I think they're just there. So let's go into the Cave of Doom. And horrible death, I guess. Huh. Wait a minute, I'm pretty sure that... Hold on a minute, I'm actually just gonna head to the bottom of the volcano. Because I'm pretty sure that there's something important down there. Yep. Ignoring you... Or does it only happen later? Oh yeah, I bet it only happens later, because here we are at the bottom of the volcano. So, I still don't know. Actually, I think I'm going to just use a shortcut to get back to the top. I haven't demonstrated this because I think it kind of breaks immersion, but what do you do is you go to the sky... Like... You know, like that. I wasted four minutes of your time. <sighs> I'm such a great let's player. Anyway, you just kind of loop around as fast as your little birdie will take you. Then you dive back down. You know, this would make no sense in any other situation. Yeah, you, you want to, um... You want to make a shortcut off the mountain? Why not go up the entire sky first? Then back down. I mean, maybe unless unless you're Superman. Maybe. And even then, why not just stick close to the ground, you big show-off? Really, I mean, if I had superpowers, I would not be able to resist showing them off. If I could choose, I'd probably pick shape-shifting, because really, why would anyone not pick shape-shifting? Not only do you get to be a dog, but it's just about every superpower at once. You know, you can... You want super speed? Be a cheetah. You want, um... I don't know. Flight? Be an eagle. And the best part is, all of those... And, yeah, cheetah and the eagle and stuff are specifically meant for super speed and flight. You know, fast swimming or whatever, if you're, I don't know, maybe a dolphin. Although, you'll probably want to be able to breathe underwater, too, so, so, so some form of very fast fish. I don't know. Because, well, because, I mean, when you look at the Flash, he should be on fire. Many times, from all the friction. But, yeah. Hold on a minute. Uh... I don't really have anything to douse for here. I could have sworn there's something important. Oh, no. Okay. So now, yeah. If you tried to go in here before, then, well, you would not have been able to. She would say it's far too hot for you. Fi would, anyway. Um, so... Oh, look at all those red shoes just kind of hanging from the ceiling. So, well, I think that, um, yeah, even if you use cheats to go through walls and stuff, no matter where you go at the edge, you know, like, at, through walls or something, she will still say that, um, you can't, you can't go there. It, it's pretty awesome. I mean... You know, it's not the development team thinks of everything on the level of, say, I don't know, NetHack, or to a lesser extent, Dwarf Fortress, although barely lesser, because, well, I mean, most of those things are just... Well, actually, no, what am I talking about? Dwarf Fortress is... Dwarf Fortress is awesome. Ah! Oh, 
I'm getting lucky today. Um, but we'll... Yeah, see that bird statue? You can't dive down here because it's indoors. I'm honestly not sure what I was talking about. Okay, these things are... Cursed spews. Cursed spews. It's... Okay, I'll accept that. It's... Uh, yes, it will. It is... Yeah, it basically um, spits... Curses and stuff. I think that... um. Also, I'm pretty sure that you can't... Um, you can't get that goddess just right now without a, you know, tricking it out pretty massively. I think that the curse... It makes you unable to take out your sword or something. I'm not sure. I haven't gotten cursed in a very long time. But if it is, then that would be a reference to The Wind Waker and probably a few other games that I don't know right now. But, yeah, the way you get rid of these spoons is basically the same way you get rid of all these other, all the other spoons. Well, this is a sp Oh, God, hi. Oh, look at all these. Just kill them before they can combine. This is a suspicious looking area. Thank you very much. Actually, no, you don't even need to use bombs anymore. Because now we have a bow. Bomb. I guess these things could also drop evil crystals, but I don't really see. I don't really get how you would obtain them. I mean, maybe with the hook. With the beetle? That's such a suspicious area, it bugs me. I know there's supposed to be something there. I've seen it. What's in here? In here, there is a nice little spring that we can cool off in. You know, just like that. As well... Uh, where does it come? Oh, it just comes from up. A few digging spots. Let's see what's under here. I'm just curious. One, two, seven. Oh, uh, eight. What am I talking about? I failed basic counting class. A few hearts there. Whoa. Uh, yeah, you might want to save that one. So down here. You can't actually see it, but let's use the quick beetle. Oh yeah, you can't speed it when you're looking down. To see that there's actually a goddess chest over there. So, how do you get it? <gasps> Flying off with reckless abandon. There we go. Yep, easy does it, there we go. I also might want to mention that, you know, despite the god- uh, the, um... Skyward Strike being very similar to, you know, Sword being to the very first games, the spin attack is a lot like the Great Spin from Twilight Princess. Although that only activated when your health was full. I don't really see the point of the Great Spin, though, because, well, if you're- or in the, um, Skyward Spin attack thing, because, well, if you're- if you're in range for it, then, well, you don't have time to charge a Skyward Strike, unless you're fighting extremely stupid Bakoblins, which is- either redundant or saying a lot. Um, yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure that Link doesn't have any idea what he's doing quite often. Oh, that didn't work. Let's see, can I get up on top of here and relax a bit? Let's see. Oh, no. Okay, I'm screwed then. Thankfully, I think it just drops you at the last solid surface you, um... Hit. Let's see as high as we can get on there. Um, I don't think there's anything else back there. At least not as far as I know. I could probably. I don't get up there. Let's see. So let's get our random treasure and sage piece of advice of the day. <laughs> It is. I'm so excited. Oh. Okay, so it's just telling you how to get arrows from goddess walls. Okay. 
Very nice, very nice. <laughs> How many bombs do I have? I have all ten, okay. I hate grass. I really do. Gra grass is... Bad. I'm just gonna check really quick with a, with a beetle. Beetle, you will be my scout. Now be annoying and fast. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, I don't see anything. Let's just go back and start doing what we were supposed to be doing. Back into here. I'm going to ignore you people. Ah, God, I am being digested by a giant blob of sentient lava. That's much less pleasant than it sounds. And that's saying a lot. Um. Oh, that's where he is, I think. Unless that's a different one. Let's see. I try first to clear your path. I don't even know why I said it like that. Oh, yeah, it is that guy. This flaming wall of fire. <sighs> okay. Couldn't he just walk through? I, well, I mean, I don't know. I think he might have said something about like that hot bit back. There was nothing but. Yeah. I mean, say what you will, but I guess heat that- even heat that can't, um... Mm -hmm. By walking. Yeah, so... I- I don't even know, right now, what I'm doing. But, I guess it's maybe- maybe they just fixed the plot hole- or seeming plot hole that, um, you know, the Gorm wouldn't be able to walk through the fire. Because say what you will, it would still uh, hurt. I mean, I doubt that walking through fire is something that any sane being will want to do. Besides these spumes, but I'm going to ignore them. Because they're gross and they smell. They smell like evil and... Cupcakes. I wonder if he ate some of the rocks around here, too. Let's see, one of my heart potions or the fairy? Definitely one of the heart potions. Need to empty out a bottle for this, sadly. Yep. It's kind of a shame that I had to waste it, but you know. Ah, God, frig it. Well, I guess the lava volume just rose a bit? I don't really know, but... I guess as the thing's dead, it's lost itself in all the rest of that lava. Or... Oh, I... Kind of wasn't supposed to talk to him. So you're not supposed to dump the water on the fire. You're supposed to give it to the frog. Yeah. Oh, you run oddly. Why didn't you just roll through? That would have been faster. What? Did you not want to intimidate me? Let's see what's here. A suspicious hole. A bunch of hearts. Jeez, they're being generous with those. And... Two rupees. Okay. So let's see what's over here. It is this thing. Anyway, I think that Oh my god, I'm so happy. It's not like we can find this stuff by the truckload around here. I mean it's a random system, I get that. Let's see, so Huh. Huh. Anyway, I think that this episode has gone on for just about long enough, and we are at a fairly good stopping point. So, until next time, this has been the Indigo Experiment, and we are done here. See you!